if you want to know how you can make an audio visualizer in Roblox, just like this one, where you can put your sound ID in and a visualizer will do the rest of it, you're going to have to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, we are making an audio visualizer. Now what that means, uh, you can play music on Roblox, uh, like you can put the sound ID in it, and then after that, um, so some GUIs will just start, you know, visualizing the, the, the song, you know, you get it. Um, you saw that probably in a preview of the video before the intro. Uh, this video is possible by Karabi, so big thank you to you, my man. Um, I really appreciate you. Thank you for the source code. And all of your socials will be in the description. Go subscribe and like all of whatever he has. Just go do it. If you're new to my channel though, give a like if you like this video. If you don't like this video, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications. And if you want to be a member, click the blue join button down below. And you should be good to go. So let's get right into the video. Um, you want to go to the link in the description to get the model and what the model contains is just a GUI and the scripts but there is no code in it so it's pretty useless and that's why you're probably watching this video you want to know how to code it and I'll teach you right away so you want to go to view and you want to go to toolbox and you will see uh, a lot of these uh, you, yeah, yeah you don't want that you want to go to the four uh, blocks at the top and you see my models and you can click on visualizer from me uh, and you can you, uh, it will it should go in workspace, but you want to drag it into starter GUI. And once you do that, you will immediately see a bunch of things. Uh, you can click the toolbox away if you'd like. So you see a bunch of things. And these are the visualizers, which are going to like kind of like bounce, you know. Uh, you can put the song ID in here. You can set the song here, and you can play the song here. Uh, so let's get right into the coding. We're going to go in the set ID... Uh, uh, in the set ID uh, script first and it's a pretty simple script to start off with so you just want to type script that parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then if script dot parent dot parent dot song uh, is other than nothing and let me just switch that keyboard if it's other than nothing and script dot parent dot parent dot song dot text oh text it's other than nil. So we're uh, asking the script, once you click it, to only execute if there is at least something. Because th this means other than. So if song uh, is other than that. And I forgot this has to be a dot text. So if script the parent the parent dot song the text is other than nothing and script the parent the parent dot song the text is other than nil, then uh, we're going to. Uh, load up the sound so we can do script that parent that parent that music as you can see there's a music in here uh dot sound id you want to look fairly closely rbx asset id colon slash slash dot dot script that parent that parent that song song dot text and this is basically uh your first script done you are doing amazing. So let's go on and immediately go to the next one, which is the toggle button. Uh, it's a pretty, it's, it's an okay script. So we need a function of update like that, function update. And we need to check. So if script that parent that parent dot music dot playing is equal to, to true, then uh, script that parent the text is going to be mute so if it's playing you can mute the song and then script that parent that parent that line that visible line that visible is equal to true but if this is all not the case then script that parent the text is going to be play because we need to play the song again and script that parent that parent that line that visible is equal to false so if there is a song playing, we'll set it to mute. And if there's no song playing, we'll set it to play. I have no idea which the line, what is the line? Oh, that's the bottom one, nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. 
we're immediately gonna continue. So over here, script that parent that mouse button one click colon connect function. So if someone clicks it, then local op is equal to not script that parent that parent dot music dot playing playing, and then we'll set this script that parent that parent dot music dot playing is equal to op, and then we'll initialize our updating. But this does, it's probably something inverted. Uh, just ask Kurabi. Script that parent that parent dot music dot ended. So if it ends, uh, we'll immediately throw over, throw up the update function. And you want to paste this four times. Like that. And change ended to paused. Change uh, ended to played. And change ended to changed. Just like that. Uh, we need to do one more loop, and that is going to be at wall task .wait do, and then local tweens is equals to a table. Local color is equals to color three dot from RGB math dot random zero by two five five, comma math dot random zero by two five five, and math dot random. 0 by 255. And this randomizes a color ranging uh, from uh, from black to white. And then, for example, if we put this at like uh, 250, 120, uh, comma 120, uh, what color do you get? I have no idea, but you can find it out later. And set it to 255. My bad. Um... Now we need to check what is playing. So for underscore, comma i in pairs, script that parent that parent colon get children do. So basically everything in the GUI I think uh, do uh, repeat task dot wait until script dot parent dot parent dot music dot playing. Because six is the true. So the script will wait until there's playing something. Until something is playing, my bad. So if i is a frame, then, so if it's a frame, we'll let it, uh, like, uh, fade between colors, you know? So local tween info is equals to tween info dot new, two. We'll just give it the argument two, so it's like two seconds. And now local tween is equals to game, colon get service, tween service, colon create. We're going to tween i, we're going to tween the frames. We're going to tween with tween info and our background color three is because color. So the background of the you know of the bouncing things is gonna be color, which is the randomized color. Well and we'll tween between them. Or well we will uh, like uh, tween between those. Um, now we just need to in insert it into a table. We're going to um, insert it into the tweens table and we're going to insert our tween. Now go out of that, go to line 30. So for underscore, comma, tween in pairs, tweens do. And we'll simply, so every tween, uh, so it's going to make a tween for every frame there is. And then over here, we will loop through all of those tweens and then play them. And then we will uh, repeat task.wait until tweens uh, the table in square brackets out of hashtag tweens uh, dot completed. And what this means, it will just wait until the tween is completed and then just repeat the entire process again. There is one last script we have to do. And it's the longest one, but it's not really that long to be honest with you. So local GUI is equal to script dot parent. And we need a random color function. So random uh, function random color. And we need local red is equals to math at random one out of two five five. Local green is equals to math at random one two five five. And then you can guess it blue is equals to math at random one out of two five five. And we are going to return a color three value from RGB. We're going to return red, green, and blue, which is the RGB colors. Now we need another function called get sounds array. So get uh, well function get sounds array, and then local sounds are is equals to an empty table. 
So for underscore comma I colon sound in Paris game colon get service replicated storage colon get descendants do so maybe your game has like sounds in replicated storage or replicated first will also loop through those yes so if I is a sound uh, and then we'll check if it's playing so if I not playing then we will insert that sound into our sounds array um, we'll insert it into our sounds array table and we're going to insert I and as I see, all we have to do, you can just copy this, paste it three times, like this, and change this to replicated first, and change this, uh, this entire line, to game, click on get service players, dot local player, click on get descendants. And what that means, maybe your player has some kind of sound in them, you know, and then we will just, you know, just, just also loop through those. Um... And all we have to do now is we need to return uh, the uh, the table back to this uh, to the client, so the client understands it. We need one more function, and that is function get sound values of an array, and then local total is equal to one thousand times uh, everything in array. Local part is equal to zero, and now for underscore comma sound colon sound in pairs of in array do uh, so if not part above a thousand then part plus equals sound dot playback loudness for some reason this does not work Why does that not work? Oh well. Uh, so if that, then nothing and else. We'll just do this, just like that. Well, I can shorten it up. I could. Uh, but that's not everything. We have to do return, and this is difficult. Uh, in curved brackets, p is equals to part divided by total in brackets times 100 and then total is equal to total and part is equal to part and to be honest with you I don't know what this means but you know it's just a code uh, you can ask Karabi on discord if you would like so wall task wait deal so you can put you don't have to put anything in brackets local values is equals to get sound values of get sounds array uh, just like that so now we have to check every frame so for underscore comma frame in Paris uh, script the parent colon get children do just like that so if frame is a frame so if the frame is actually a frame but and frame dot name is other than line so we will completely ignore out the line one then frame dot visible is equal to true because um, we're just going to make them invisible, you know. Uh, local height is equal to values.p divided by 100 divided by math.random 1.1 by 2. And that is a lot of calculation. We need a random value now. So local random is equal to random.new os.time. So the time you're in. Local max number is equal to 0 0.247. And I think I just broke my keyboard. Hold on. Okay, we're back. My bad. Uh, just like that. And then local min number. The minimum number is going to be 0 0.016. Now we need a float size. So local float is equal to random colon next number. Of the min number and the max number. What does that do actually? Good question. Let me just check that real quick for every one of our for everyone. And uh, for some reason it doesn't work, but yep, that sucks. So now frame that size is equal to udem two 
dot new, 0 0.02, comma 0, comma math dot clamp, we're going to clamp the size, height 0 0.015, and float. But don't worry, add the 0 at the end. So you should have frame that size, as you can see, unit 2 dot new, 0 0.02, comma 0, comma math dot clamp, height, comma 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.015, comma float and then out of the bracket comma zero this is everything done i am going to get a sound id from the roblox library and we'll be back in a second i do want to say you will not be able to hear the sound due to uh, due to a like computer issue uh, i'll try fix it soon so let's play the game i got an id right here so let's just get the developer thingy over here uh these are all you can ignore the rest of the errors i mean Oh, we got an issue over here. Attempt to get nil. We'll look right into that. It's line 34 to 45. Okay. Let's check. I think I figured out why. Uh, over here, uh, we did get sound values, but changed this to get sounds array. For some reason, it did not just work out, but I think that should fix it. So let's try that out right now. As you can see, the error has disappeared, and that's not what I wanted. Let me just get my ID, and as you can see, boom. So, set song, and let's play it, and boom. So, let's see if it does anything. It sometimes lags out, but I hope you're fine with that. As you can see, it changes all of the colors to a random RGB color, and you can vibe with it at the same time. As I said, it sometimes glitches out for a little second, um, but that should be okay. As you can see, it just drops down a little bit. I think that has to be with connectivity issues. Um, let me just mute my sound real quick because it's really loud. Uh, as you can see, it works, and um, that was the only error we had. As you can see, it it works perfectly fine now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like it, give it a like. If you don't like it, uh, just dislike the video. And subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Karabi, and all of the social links in the description. Just go and follow him on everything. And then, um, all I have to say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.